go ahead and grab your black yarn black yarn of course we have to use the darkest colors here the hardest colors to see give yourself some good slack i take black yarn and i sew on my face i thread through and like embroider a face onto my creeper if you want to you can also use black felt cut it out and just either sew or glue that felt to the face thread your needle so you might be asking yourself what does a minecraft creepers face look like well here i actually have a diagram for you all right here is the face of a minecraft creeper our dimensions on our face are nine single crochets or nine spaces by eight spaces okay so we want the eyes to be a little bit bigger and then here's the mouth each dot or each square here is one space one single crochet space so when we are taking our needle i'm going to put that right there as our diagram i'm actually going to move it right there all right so this right here is going to be this row right here okay so that means I like to come in from the bottom because it's an easy place to hide it when I'm done so that means I'm gonna want to come in through right there I want to come in right there Okay, I want to be in my second row, second row and third row, and then also three stitches wide. So second and third row, and then three stitches wide so I will stop one two three I'm gonna stop this eye right here okay so go ahead and keep threading your black yarn through if you are choosing to embroider the face on like I am and I will meet you when this eye is done and we'll move on to the next eye all right great now we skip two spaces and do three more spaces so I got one two inserted my yarn in that third space then two rows up so here's row one row two insert my yarn right there come back into that hole perfect okay so i'm going to continue to embroider for three spaces so here's space one space two and space three so finish these three and i'll meet you when we are done with that and we'll go straight into this nose section great we are finished with the eyes if you want to you can always give them a little pinch to fill them in a little bit Go ahead and put your or have your yarn need your yarn come through this corner of the eye we are going to now work on this middle piece so this middle piece is going to fill from this corner of the eye to that corner of the eye and it's going to be one two three spaces long or three spaces down so that's one two three so we will insert our needle right here okay so come back through there and we are going to fill in this whole box area so it'll go all the way to this corner of the eye and one two three down Okay, so fill in that section right there and I'll meet you when we are done with that. 
Okay, I have run out of yarn, unfortunately, so I'm just going to show you real quick what to do if you run out of yarn. Insert that back into that same space that we started. Pull that through. Tight a knot. Okay. And cut off any extra slack there. Grab your needle. Insert into any hole, doesn't really matter. Try to find where that same hole is that the yarn is sticking out of. Okay. Yarn over and pull that into the work. All right, and then once that yarn is gone, go ahead and grab your black yarn and just re-thread your needle and keep going. All right, great. We have finished the nose part. If you need to pinch that closer together, just so that way it's not so wide. <clears throat> now I'm going to move right in to this section right here. So it shows that it goes down one extra row and comes out one section, but this space right here will be missed. So I'm going to go into this spot right here. And when I come back up, I'm going to come out right here. Okay, I'm going to line that up so that way it comes out smoother. Perfect. This is only going to be one space over, so it's going to be very thin. And once we're done with this side, then I will move over to this side. Okay, so I will see you in a second and we will do this side together. Great. Now we are on to the very last side. I already, when I brought my needle over from this side over, I went ahead and inserted it into that space right there. That was already one down. Comes to this spot right here. And then I will just keep working into that space right there. Give that a few a few strings. All right, go ahead and work on finishing this section and I'll meet you when we are all finished. Great, all finished. I went ahead and inserted the needle back into that same spot that we started. Put that down. Cut that off. I'm going to tie this into a knot. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and insert my needle right there. Find the spot that these guys came out of right there. Turn over and pull back those guys into the head. And there we go. It's your creeper. Yay. Squish all the pieces together. Be a perfectionist. Love it. And we're done. You finished your creeper. Good job. He looks amazing. So what do you think? He turned out pretty awesome, don't you think? The Minecraft Creeper is one of my best-selling stuffed toys for kids. Minecraft is a very popular game right now. So if you are somebody who is just looking for a pattern for your child or a kid that you know that loves Minecraft, super popular, good choice. If you're looking for something to create to sell, 
also super popular, good choice. Well, he turned out absolutely awesome. I hope you love him. If you have any questions at all, please make sure you comment in the note section below so I can respond. If you had fun crocheting with me, which I hope you did because I had a great time showing you how to make a Minecraft creeper, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet and would like to subscribe to my channel, that way I can get found and you don't miss anything. Make sure when you hit subscribe that you also hit the bell and click all so you don't miss any of the videos that I have coming. Well, again, my name is Tiffany Hansen. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you with my next video. Bye.